Hi, we're gonna talk about some of my favorites because I haven't filmed one of these videos in so long and I have also, it's so hot in my room right now so the fan's on. Sorry, I actually should probably turn that off. I feel like that might be annoying. So this video is going to be quick because I'm really done editing like 30 minute videos. Like that's just, it's not gonna work for me anymore. It's gonna be quick, but it's gonna be like packed of all of my favorite things that I've been using this summer, books that I've read, clothes that I've worn a ton, like products that I've been using. Oh, if you're new, I'm Sarah. Hi, welcome. Okay, um, clothes, should we start with? These two <laughs> pairs of sunglasses. One, they're the only ones that I own because I lost my other favorite pair and threw out the rest. But I'm obsessed with both of these. They're both like the tortoise shell. What is that what it's called? Tortoise pattern? I don't know. These are from Urban. I get questions about these all the time. These are like my most worn pair of sunglasses, but I love them. They're perfect. They're just like perfect shape, perfect color. As my mommy. Yeah, I'm obsessed with these. I don't know if they're still available. If they are, I'll try and link everything down below and if I can't find something, I'll like link something similar, but. And then this pair, these are from Free People. They are the Belladonna. I don't know if they're Belladonna. I know that they're Donna something because they look just like the ones that Donna wore in First Mamma Mia, so. That's of course why I bought them, but they're so, so cute. Like, I wasn't expecting to love them as much as I do, but they're super cute, super fun. And they're the same tortoise. I believe these should still be available because I got these in like May, April. Should still be available. Next thing is this bag which I have gotten so many questions. I've been a lot more active, like I've actually been posting on Instagram which is like really crazy for me. I use this bag so much. I got it off of Amazon. I think it was like $12.99. I'm gonna order a couple more because this one, it's meant for fruit, and I do use it for fruit, but I've put like peaches and stuff in here, and then I've kind of like thrown the bag around and they've gotten bruised. So it's a little bit stained. Um, I love this. I use it for like, it's a perfect pool bag. I'll throw like a book, my sunglasses, some snacks in here, um, take it to the pool, take it to the beach. Also great for farmer's markets and the grocery store. I don't think the grocery store people like me because I put all of like my produce into this one bag and then they have to like because why would I use like that's one of my biggest pet peeves is like those little tiny useless bags at the grocery store that like you put your like garlic and like all of your produce in that's so stupid why do I need that but I'm gonna throw it all in the cart and then it's all gonna go into this bag and then I'm gonna take it home so I love this bag it's so cute um next favorite are these pants. These are from Mirror Boutique. They actually sent these to me last year when I worked with them and did a video, but I have worn these so much this summer. They're just this really light, airy, white pant. I love the material. I don't know if you're going to be able to like see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's just like, it's the perfect material. They fit perfectly. Um, I love like in the evening time after I've like been at the beach or at the water or at the pool all day I'll just like take off whatever I'm wearing throw these on with like a bikini top and like that's my outfit for the evening if we go out for like ice cream or whatever we're doing go to staple piece with like a nice gold earring which we will get into that but love these I don't know if they still have them but I'll try and find like a similar vibey you get the idea. Next is another pair of pants, which I love these. This is another one that I've been wearing all summer. My favorite thing is wearing like a big flowy pair of pants with just like a little tiny bikini on top and it's just like my favorite thing in the world. They are from Free People. I don't know if they're still available. I did get a bunch of questions on these. I posted a picture on Instagram and they're not like like, you can still find them places now. I know they're, like, sold out at, like, Revolve and, like, Free People doesn't sell them anymore. But you probably can find them on, like, Poshmark. I'll try and find something similar and link them down below. But I just... They're the perfect, like, fit up around your waist. And then they just flare so beautiful. I'm... Obs these, this is, like, the perfect, like, seaside pants. If you're having like a beach day or you're out on the water and then you grab dinner, it's just, I love them. They're so cute. Next is a pair of overalls, also from Free People. I have worn these 
so much this summer it's ridiculous i love the look of overalls like over i really just like bathing suits in general but like over a bathing suit i have this ivory bikini from monday swim which is also one of my favorites i'll put a picture of it on the screen um i don't have it with me right now because it is in the washing machine because i wore it yesterday because i literally alternate between like three bikinis but i wear that bikini under these overalls from free people once again just the pattern and just i always roll them up at the bottom this with that bikini with these sunglasses and this bag such a vibe bikini is the one from monday so it's from tropic of sea it's, it's just their plain black like triangle bikini i'll link it down below because it is literally the most like resilient bikini like it's very little it's very little but i've never had an issue with like you know nip slips or anything like that they did it, it stays on it's it's a good bikini next is this hat i got this from target it you would never think that this was from target this was like 17.99 i have worn it so much it looks like it's just this i don't know it's perfectly like ra crocheted raffia it's this sweet little hat i would put it on but i have a clip in my hair so it's not gonna go over the clip but so cute and just the perfect summer normally i'm more like a wide brim girl but for some reason, I just love how little this guy is. I'm a total gold jewelry girl. I feel like you could probably tell that by my... That, I don't know. I feel like you can... T for me, I can tell between like gold and silver. These are the hoops I've been wearing non-stop this summer. I'm not gonna focus. These are the Love AJ Almalfi. I think these are the baby ones. I'm not sure of the size, but I'll look at like my order history and I'll link them down below. Don't tarnish at all. Like, I wear them in the sea, in the pool, like all... I. Don't take these things off. Absolutely perfect. And then I pair those with, I get questions all the time on my necklace. I wear this, I literally have not taken this off since I got it, but I actually worked with Aureli G and they sent this to me. This was from when I worked with Aureli G. I have a coupon code with them. I think it's 20 percent off but i'll link this down below the chain is just super thin and dainty and then like the little pearl is very like oblong and not like i don't like circle pearls like i like when they're like not perfect i guess if that makes sense i don't know but i love this one i literally have not taken it off me and it's my like signature <laughs> jewelry piece i feel i love it so much so that's definitely been summer style favorite Next, we're gonna get into books, which actually, hold on, we're gonna talk about this first because this room decor, I've been in the process of just like simplifying everything. I just feel like I have too much stuff. I have been simplifying and getting rid of a ton of stuff and like that my room is just, cause there's like nothing left in my room, but this is the one little like room decor thing. I got this off of a little Instagram shop, hand painted, look at the little, I'm, it's just so cute. Hand painted in Portugal. It's just so beautiful. And I just throw like my little perfume or my like gold jewelry on it or I'll just like leave it plain because it's just so pretty. Um, so this is my favorite. It's just so cute. This is like the new style vibe. I like it a lot. Okay, books. I have three <laughs> that I want to share with you guys. Um, firstly is if you are wanting to get more into like astrology, your chart, your natal chart, your placements, this book is really good for that. It is a bit intimidating. Um, and there's, there's a lot packed in here, but this is like my Bible on all things astrology. It's cosmic health. I'll have it linked down below. I'm upset like as you can tell if you look very this thing has been like beat to death all of the pages i have them all earmarked and they're all like wet and just like <laughs> this book has been through hell and back with me i literally take this thing everywhere like my kids that i nanny for like no the yellow book you are interested in astrology and learning more about your chart your like other people's placements this goes into detail about like every single thing on your chart you like anything in astrology your moon sign your rising sign where your sun is where your mercury is jupiter how jupiter like influences your placements it's all in here in this book and this it's just so special to me because this was given to me by my preschool teacher who i like she has guided me so much on my like spiritual journey it's insane um like she grew up in europe and she's just this beautiful like vibrant soul 
and she gave me this book she's like I know that this is something that like really aligns with you and that you will find so much joy in and be able to help other people what's up I am obsessed with this book to say the least I'll have it linked down below cosmic health by Jennifer it's it's so good next was my read after cosmic health I finished this book in two days me and Liv are actually doing like a little book club this is the four agreements this book super quick super easy read but it's just like all about how like throughout our lives as children we're conditioned to think a certain way to be a certain way and how we don't have to live by those societal standards that are like being constantly pushed into our brains it's literally like four things that he talks about in this book and if you do those four things which I've been trying to like incorporate into my daily life which they make such a difference how you're able to kind of like decondition your brain as a child you don't have the ability to you can't control what your parents believe so whatever your parents believe whatever school they want to send you to whatever things like TV shows or on news like that's constantly going into your brain and conditioning you to think a certain way and the way that they're treating you is conditioning you to think a certain way and how for better or for worse you have the ability to change that conditioning in your brain and release it and completely rewire the way that you think so this is a really really good one if you're just like starting your spiritual journey um, or if you're like already into spirituality and you just want like a good little like boost great book this one is my current read this is the secret i've been look at i put my cup on it I've been meaning to read this book for so long and just haven't like gotten my hands on it yet. I've started it. It's already so good. I can tell that I'm just like, I was at the bookstore the other day with my nanny and I picked it up and she's like, oh my gosh, I have a copy of that, but I want you to have your own copy because it's so good. It's really, it's just creating your own future and manifesting your life and it's, it's just so good so far. So that's another one. I will keep you updated on how I'm liking this one. Outer Banks season two. Of course that's a favorite finished it in like two days um what other favorites do hold on where's my phone there's my phone <laughs> last favorites these are three makeup products that i've been like this is all i have on my face right now i've been using these like non-stop throughout the summer just like super glowy natural beautiful whatever sun-kissed so this is the merit brow gel they actually sent this to me too i'm working with them so video coming on that but I'm obsessed with this brow gel so much. It's so easy. You literally just like, like you just throw it on, brushes up my brows, makes them just look like effortlessly done. I don't know. I don't ever like it. I don't pluck my brows. I don't touch them. I just kind of like let them do what they want to do. But this stuff really just kind of, I don't know. They look perfect. So the, I'm in the shade blonde. This is the volumizing pomade, but I really like this stuff. I love the applicator packaging because it's just gold and pretty, but. There's that. And then this is the Merit Day Glow in the shade Bounce. Um, it's just this super glowy highlighting balm that I just, I absolutely love. It's so pretty. I just throw it on like my cheeks and highlight everything. I only use waterproof mascara because as you guys know, I'm constantly like in and out of the water and it's just a whole thing. So I was using the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof I ended up losing it and then never bought a new one. My mom gave me this, which this is the mascara that she's been using for years. This is so much better than the Too Faced one, um, which I've been using that one for a solid like five years. But this is the Clinique High Impact Waterproof Mascara. And it's just like, one, it goes on really nicely. Like it's not super like, like the wand is very... I don't know it's just like the perfect wand the mascara itself is like the perfect consistency and then after you go in the water the Too Faced one always left like a little line underneath my eyes so it looked like I was wearing like lower eyeliner which I absolutely hate on myself but I just thought that that was like what waterproof mascara did but then I tried this one and this one does not do that at all it just like a little bit of the mascara comes off at like the tips of my lashes but it stays on like the bottom part so it just looks very effortless like no makeup I mean I always wear no makeup makeup looks but like it's just a really really good mascara so 
that is everything for my summer favorites. Like I said, everything will be linked in the description box. Oh, my other two favorites, Instagram and TikTok. I have been posting so much more on there. So if you wanna go follow those, they're both Sarah Elizabeth. I'll have them linked in the description box. I've just been doing like day in my life, like daily Instagram stories, daily posts on Instagram, daily TikToks, all of that stuff, which is why I haven't been like super active on YouTube, but I'm bouncing it out, but. Okay, that's all. Sending you all of my love.